بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم الحمد لله رب العالمین و صلی الله علی سیدنا محمد و اهل بیت طیبین الطاهرین رب اشرح لي صدري و يسر لي امري و احلل عقده من لساني يفقه قولي اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم In the name of God the all gracious the all merciful I take refuge in God from Satan the rejected In his name we start our series of discussion in the subject matter of the uh, communications and propagation this is one of the uh, new uh, discussions in the academic uh, sphere and nowadays in many universities in many faculties and many colleges this uh, field of study is uh, taught among the academics and among the students, the students of the communications and the propagation. And uh, inshallah in our uh, upcoming sessions, which will be about uh, 32 sessions, we will talk about the basics of communication and after that about uh, the propagation and how we can uh, start uh, uh, propagating Islamic doctrines. Of course, there are many discussions in the issue of tabligh, that how we can translate it in the, as the propagation or preaching or uh, any other term. However, we use propagation and for the uh, communications, uh, we will talk about in detail. The table of contents that, inshallah, in our upcoming sessions we will uh, cover are in, uh, as follows, that we will talk about some introduction and after that, the definition of communication and about the uh, interpersonal communication, about the elements of communication, types of communication, communication process, about the characteristics of, eff of effective communication, knowledge and skills needed for effective interpersonal communication or mass communication or group communication, characteristics of effective uh, counseling, when you want to talk to uh, an audience, the characteristics of effective propagation, barriers to effective communication, and tools for effective uh, propagation. We will talk about models of communications, and at last, uh, we will talk about the techniques of communications and te techniques of propagations. So, um, as an introduction, uh, as a person who has uh, the experience of uh, doing propagation or teaching communication for uh, a couple of years, I have to say that today uh, one uh, motto is to be enhanced and became very popular among the uh, public relations uh, managers, public relation officers and secretariats that today world is the world of communication. Communication and more communication. You know, it is very important to know that uh, in the world that we are living, the cyberspace, the issue of uh, communicating with other sides, with the others, is of very um, high importance. So we have to be mastered in the techniques and we have to be mastered in the ways that uh, to uh, accentuate the positives of the or the positivities of the good communication because it is by itself a kind of it's a major it's a field of study and it is a it is a skill. We have to learn how to communicate and how to talk to our audience we have to know the techniques of audienceology, you know, the studies of the audiences, you know, to uh, determine from which type our, our uh, audience is uh, among us and we have to determine uh, in, with which level of the communication and which spectrum or the degree of the, commun uh, of the audience we have to choose the proper, appropriate, appealing, and affordable, actually, uh, techniques of communication. Now, uh, 
what is communication? First of all, uh, what is the difference between communication and communications? You know, uh, in the terminologies or in the, as a matter of fact, in the uh, coinage of the words and the etymology of the words, if you use S to an end of uh, a noun, that noun or that uh, word will become to a field of study. For example, if you uh, add an S to uh, economic, to an adjective, it becomes economics. So it becomes the field of study of economics. Politic, politics, okay? Communication is included, and uh, if you add an S to the end of this word, it will become uh, uh, a field of study, communications. It means referring to the uh, major of communication, the syllabus of communication, and how to uh, study and to be graduated in this field of study. So, communications is the field of study. It is not a plural name. And the communication by itself is a word, and we have to define it. So what is communication? If we want to uh, elaborate on the communication, we have two kinds of definitions. First of all, if you want to define it as the uh, technical definition, it differs from the uh, popular definition. In the popular definition, or in uh, uh, literal uh, as a matter of a literal or we can say non-technical definition, communication can be defined as the process by which uh, people share ideas, experience, knowledge, feelings, and uh, the messages uh, through transmission of symbolic uh, items and symbolic messages. This is the definition of communication. Of course, in literal, not technical. And the means of communication are usually spoken or uh, written words, pictures or symbols. And uh, we usually give the information through body language, through our gestures, uh, through the looks. You know, the looks shows that uh, what is your character and what you do you look like in that proper time and also the facial expressions you know the body language or the nonverbal communication techniques are very very important you know the nonverbal communication or the communication based on the body language gestures and the facial expressions and the looks are as important as the uh, spoken words and as the verbal communication so we send our message send our ideas send our uh, words through different uh, through different channels and through different uh, facilities and means sometimes it is a spoken word sometimes it is written words sometimes it is uh, non-verbal and etc. This is the uh, literal meaning. However, uh, what is the technical meaning of communication? I ask you, what is the meaning of communication? Can you define communication? What is it technically? Communication in the uh, realm of communication, in the uh, you know the field of study of communication can, is defined as the following: that when a sender sends a message th through a, a channel to a receiver with a kind of feedback, it becomes communication. So once more, if a sender sends a message through a channel to a receiver and receiver sends the feedback it becomes the process of communication and this is the technical meaning of communication it includes all the spectrums of communication you know if you define in other way 
you will be uh, faced with some problems in definition. So this is the best one, and in all the com the books which are uh, written about communication from, uh, as matter of fact, the last century, or we can say at least from 15, 50 years ago, this is the uh, center of the focus. I have to add that the major of communications is a very new major, very very new field of study, and. In comparison to politics, economics, philosophy, mathematics, chemics, I don't know, geography, and etc., it is very, as a young uh, born baby, it, is a, uh, it needs very uh, activities to be uh, done to give the resources and references to this field of study. You know, for example, in Iran, there are just uh, three or four universities that uh, they are allowed according to the Ministry of Education and Science to teach communication and to have this uh, because it's very new and the references are mostly coming from the West and it needs to be uh, as a matter of fact uh, localized we have to uh, make it indigenous so we have to be mastered in the uh, references of this field of study and then to enhance and then to uh, add some other aspects to, the, to this major. So we had two kinds of definition, the literal definition and the technical definition. The literal t definition was the sharing of the ideas or the popular definition is the sharing of the ideas, experiences, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, attitudes, Okay, beliefs, values, and etc. through um, uh, some symbolic messages, and it has different kinds. Sometimes it is verbal communication, like the words written, and etc. Sometimes it is via nonverbal communication, which includes the looks, body language, gestures, and etc. Body language is very important. That inshallah in our upcoming sessions we will talk about. Now. This was the uh, literal meaning, and the technical meaning was sending a message. When a sender sends a message through a channel to a receiver, and the receiver decodes the encoded message through the uh, feedback. Now, what are the most common ways that we communicate? You know, uh, there are different ways of communication, but what are the most common ways? There are four common ways. So if we ask a question that what are the most common ways of communication, we have to say it is uh, of four uh, ways. First, it is a spoken word. You know, the, uh, one of the most common ways of communication is the spoken word via speaking. The second one is the visual images. The uh, visual images are the other type of the ways that we communicate. The third one is the written word, and the fo fourth one is the body language. So we have four types or four ways of, four common ways of communication, a spoken word, visual images, written word, and the body language. And each, uh, each of which needs uh, elaboration that inshallah we'll talk about. It is very important to know that the Elements of communication are in a very uh, reciprocal ways of, uh, we can say, affecting and taking affection, you know, influencing and taking the influence. You know, if we say that um, when you want to transfer a meaning to, a, to an audience, you want to transfer the meaning of the message, not the message itself. For example, uh, when you send a message via SMS, via Viber, via email, and etc., what do you mean by the words? You don't mean the words themselves. For example, you don't when you say uh, uh, "Good morning," okay, you don't mean or you don't uh, point at the word and the letter themselves to 
for example, it could G double O D or for example, morning M O R N I N G. You don't uh, mean these letters. What do you mean through these letters and through these words? It is a meaning, and that is saying hello, saying salam. Okay, so the word itself is not uh, the target of the communication. The target of the communication is the meaning. The meaning is in a reciprocal collaboration and communication and uh, we can say influencing each other of three angles. First, the meaning uh, is very bound to the message and the text itself. Secondly, to the producer and the reader. And thirdly, to the reference. You know, the message, the producer of the message, and the referent of the message. All of these three, okay, have influence on the meaning. For example, if the referent is a special type, it has an influence on the meaning. If the producer or the reader has a kind of a special characteristic or personality, it will affect the meaning. For example, when you send that, there is God. Okay, If you send this sentence, there is God, to a Christian, to a Jew, to a Muslim, to a Buddhist, uh, or to a, uh, the atheist, each of them have a kind of different mentality and have different or they uh, deduce a, uh, different types of meanings for example in christianity god is uh, of three persons you know we you know the father son and the holy spirit for example in islam it is uh, a special it is allah which means there is no god beside him maybe in buddhism in taoism there are different names, there are different meanings for God. Okay. So the producer of the message or the reader of the message has influence on the meaning. Okay. And also the text or the message itself. You know, uh, sometimes the message you send is a kind of, for example, uh, you will verify my and you will confirm my uh, utterance and my statement that the message you send through SMS is different through sending the same message through, for example, Viber or WhatsApp or email. In another words, when you see a movie in the cinema, it is it looks like uh, it looks like very different from seeing that movie in the home TV, in the TV, you know, the ordinary TV, television. And also it is very different through watching this movie through the satellite. The movie is one, it is the same movie. For example, I don't know each kind of movie, okay? But the message itself, the channel itself, through the way you look at this message is different. So it affects the message and the meaning. Uh, as a conclusion, I have to mention that the basic and the basis of the communication is the meaning that you want to transfer. And this meaning is uh, under effect of different types of factors. Some of the factors are bound to the text and the message, some of them to the producer and the reader, for example the hermeneutics, this philosophical discussion, and also to the referent, to whom you refer or to whom you refer your text. So all of these have uh, collaboration and we can say they are intertwined and they affect each other and also take uh, effect. So uh, the time of this, uh, as much of fact, uh, episode is 
over and uh, until the next time and until next session that we will start our discussion uh, through the issue of the meaning. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.